Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, u equals a negative 2a minus 3 all over ka, and we're going to solve that for a uh, good old a, okay? So I'm going to rewrite my equation over here, so I have some, some room here. u equals a negative 2a minus 3 over ka. Well, I want to get all my a's together, but first I want to get out of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by k a. What that does is help me eliminate the k a's here on the right, and I'm left with a k a times u equals a negative 2a minus 3. Okay? Well, now I'm going to bring my a's together, right? So I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to add a 2a to both sides. By adding a 2a to both sides, now remember that multiplication here. I really can write this, let's rearrange that, as a uh, times ku, right? kau is the same as aku, same thing, plus 2a, and that's equal to negative 3, okay? So what I can do then, I see there's an a to both parts there. So since there's an a to both parts, if I pull an a out, I'm left with ku plus 2 equals a negative 3. And we can see I can distribute that a across to both parts there, and I get what's written up there, right? A K U plus 2A. So I'm going to rewrite this over here, right? A times K U plus 2 equals negative 3. Well, from there, I know there's multiplication. Obviously, multiplication is division with the parentheses. So I'm going to divide both sides by K U plus 2. K U plus 2. And that leaves me with A by itself equals a negative 3 over K U plus 2. And now I'm done. A is isolated by itself. It's equal to a negative 3 over a KU plus 2. So let's recap. We're giving U equals excuse me, a negative 2A minus 3 all over KA, and we're solving that for A. I rewrote my equation over here on this side, and then I multiplied both sides by a KA. But by doing that, it, I was left with KA times U on the left, and on the right is negative 2A minus 3 because those KAs cancel. I, I then had to add a 2A to both sides to get all my a's together. But remember that ka times u is really just kau, and so I just rearrange it using the commutative property, giving me an a k u, because I like to have the variable that I'm looking for on the outside. It's all the letters. This is my personal preference. And that's plus 2a, and that's going to be equal to negative 3 what's left on the right. From there, I saw that I could pull an a out of both parts, leaving me with a times parentheses ku plus 2, and we can see that if I distribute the a back in, I'd be given what's up above, and that's equal to negative 3. I rewrote up that over here, but then my next step was to divide by what's in the parentheses here, that ku plus 2 uh, to both sides. By doing that, I eliminated the ku plus 2 on the left and just brought it to the right and divided that uh, from three, negative 3. So that gave me my final answer of a equals a negative 3 over a ku plus 